morning class. Good morning. Uh, how are you? That's good. So today I want to learn some numbers. One. Oh, you already started. That's great. So this one is. Voila, this one. This one is five. Yeah, and this one? Okay, now everyone. Six. I'm very happy because uh, my children they are picking up because they mostly bring a uh, lot of uh, storybooks which uh, they told me that they get from school. So he has been really helping them and I also try to go through them. So I'm really happy about uh, what the school is doing for, for my children. And I hope that uh, they will really be able to, to speak the English because they are, you know that they are mainly speaking by French. So I'm really happy and I thank you for the interview. Je suis le parent de, de ces deux enfants. Elle c'est Kelly et Lucas. Je pense que son nom école de l'école est vitamine. Et je crois que c'est une bonne école parce que ça permet à l'enfant, dès le bas âge, de maîtriser l'anglais et le français en même temps. Je crois que c'est aussi une bonne école parce que les, les infrastructures sont en train d'être mises sur pied. Et avec le temps, ça ira. The Pitamelusa School is an initiative, it's an education initiative under the Cameroon Association for the Protection and Education of the Child, which is an NGO in Cameroon and it has been running for seven years. The school which CAPEC runs provide education opportunity to children from poor socioeconomic background in Cameroon. These books are going to be used in the school for the children and for their parents at home to teach them. Most of the children in our school are French-speaking, are from French-speaking homes while struggling to learn English. And we are so grateful that a lot of the books are story books and reading books where the children's language can be improved. We sincerely thank Develop Africa for all the books they have sent, for the sponsorship that they have been given to the children, and for the continuous support. So most of the children are not able to speak fluent English yet, uh, so we are practicing a lot with those books. Um, we try to read them, or sometimes I read books to them and they have to listen carefully and after this tell me what the story was about. Um, in a while I hope we will be able to, um, or the kids will be able to read the stories on their own and understand them. Because they, yeah, it's hard for them to read them and at the same time understand the stories. Um, so the books are really helpfully as many kids do not have books at home. I also sometimes give them uh, some books for them so that they can read them on the weekend when they have some time and yeah, do yeah. something on their own. Uh, my class wants to say thank you to the organization Develop Africa for the books. Um, they are very happy to have them and are hoping to um, yeah, learn lots of things with those books. Thank you. Cameroon. Um, 
I assist with class two, and we're just picking up some books for the children who um, could read a little bit of English. So looking at some very basic books for them. So I'm going to take them to the class. I'm the class teacher of uh, class two. Well, I have seen that this book will help this uh, kid to increase, uh, to develop their language power. Why? Because uh, since most of them are from Francophone background, they need this book in order to increase their skill in uh, reading. <laughs> 